The things that I'll remember most about Nanny, apart from, of course, the wonderful cooking that I enjoyed as a child or the care she took of both myself and my sister when uh, mum and dad flew to South Africa, for example, is the fact that she showed an interest in people. It might seem strange to say it, but she wasn't greedy with her conversations. When you spoke with her, she always wanted to know what you were doing. And that it made me feel good to know that she she placed so much importance on knowing what her friends around her were doing. And that's something I try to reflect when I meet new people. I try to make sure that I show an interest in them. Because I know, especially, of course, from the experiences with Nanny, that when someone shows an interest in you, it just plain feels good. So that's probably the most important thing I'll take from my experience with Nanny during the wonderful time I was able to spend with her. You, oh. you and Tommy must have had some fun times up in Hope. <laughs> we had like good, good holidays up there, actually. Yeah. I mean, uh, I had a photograph of you, a wee life belt, and you were stood in a, my camera. I was taking photographs at that stage. And there was a girl from Edinburgh who had a speedboat, which, I mean, that... Back then. Back then was a, a big deal. Yeah. Because... Uh, and she was quite attractive looking, and I, I liked her. And I took a photograph of the speedboat, but they went water skiing, which for then, I mean, you, you'd, be, you'd have to be worth, you'd have to be worth quite a bit of money to, to hey. afford it. Hey. So yeah, but uh, no, Oban was a great, I and mean, we used to walk. Tommy and I used to walk from Oban to and, and the, from the caravan park and and the Oban itself, I and mean, we used to go and. Go and see our rated movies, X movies. They wouldn't have like what, ten year old. No, I wasn't ten. I was older than older than ten year old. But he'd, he'd let us in anyway. That's the main thing. But we weren't allowed to go in because we weren't the right age. <laughs> but and I think the first movie I saw was Room at the Top or some Room with a View or some of the L L shaped room or some some. It was an R rated movie. But do you remember when you were living at Dobby's Road? Oh, why? Because I was talking to Lynette the other night. Remember when you worked in the Hydro? Up, up, up in North Scotland. Scotland. Oh, why? How often were you coming back to Dobby's Road? No, I didn't, I no, I didn't come back. That's right. And Dad made me pay my board for all the time I was away. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made him pay his board even though he was working in the north of Scotland. I know, he made me pay for my digs every week I was away from the house. He said, your mother's had to look after your room, son. Yes, David, I remember those days of Oban very clearly. There were happy times, always on holiday. An escape from school... You and I, both about the same age, same interests. A bit of a bird walking down the beach or, or on a motorboat behind some water skis and our eyes goggling at each other. Cool. And then Ian and Lachlan, well, we had to look after them. They were a bit younger. But as Ian says, mother, even then, always the warrior. I told Mum before she passed, I thanked her for the gift of life. For her love of cooking. For her love of a fine song. And I inherited all that from her. We even sung at Dad's funeral. And I told her I will always love her. She worried right until the last days. But she said, I'm going to stay strong. I've got Sean coming over. 
and I've got to stay strong for you boys. Such was her strength. I always love you. Uh, when Mum finally passed away, unfortunately, on last Wednesday, I think Mum would also like to remember the other surnames that were important in Mum's life. And these other surnames really defined her as a person. And to some extent, these names actually defined what the four boys are that you actually, or four sons that you see up here today. And these names were Moffat and Burns. Moffat was obviously my grandmother's maiden name, and Mum really learnt her first uh, adventure into cooking through my grandmother. And of course my grandmother never used a mix master or any fancy stove. Uh, all her quantities when she cooked was all done by hand and all mixed by hand. And and then she used to just cook them in an old Rayburn wooden stove. And of course they were all cooked with love. Burns was my grandfather's name and Grandpa Burns uh, gave my mother her drive in life. And to have a go at anything you turn your hand to. He also gave her one of her enduring gifts. And that was really of telling people exactly what she thought. And I think she did that to her dying day. Therefore, when you combine the two great names of Moffat and Burns, and Mum married Dad, it gave us McConnell. And that, of course, gave us Mary and Tom that we all grew to know. Uh, and everybody in Australia has known them s in, since 1969. Uh, but as you can see, the picture that's behind you shows that these two people were very much in love at the very beginning. And it's something that Mum uh, continued to do for the rest of her life until her dying days, that she loved Dad till the very last breath. And yes, I love you, Mum. My memories of my mother are different to my three brothers. They've got more memories of Mum and Dad in Scotland in their younger years. My memories of Mum are more here in Australia. You see, we arrived in Australia with very little money. We didn't have a lot. So my mum had to work real hard and put up with a lot. Four boys, no girls. She put up with a lot. But I've got great memories also. I've got the parties that Mum and Dad held. They were amazing. The, the New Year's Eve parties, the christenings and the weddings and the birthdays. They were great parties. The, the laughs that we had out of just simple things. You know, the, a game of cards or something. There were lots of laughs. But as I said, my brothers had mum and dad for their younger years. My memories are of mum and dad as they got older. Mum and dad made a lot of friends though, a lot of friends. Some of you are here today. The people that came to stay with them at some of them were just people they met on a train station when they were in Europe or when they were on holidays or walking the streets. Well, you'll have to come in and have a cup of tea. And some of you did. Some of you even stayed for weeks. And that's going to be the one memory that I'm going to cherish. My mum and father were the type of people, their home was your home. 
their meal was your meal and their bed was your bed. Their door was always open. And behind that door was my mother with open arms and an open heart. I'm going to finish now by answering a question. Somebody once asked me, why is it, Lachlan, that you and Jenny have felt it's your responsibility for looking after mum and dad as they got older? Well, everybody wants to be wanted, needed, and loved. My mum and father gave up so much to come to Australia. They left behind family and friends. They wanted to do that so that we could have a better life. Their four sons, a better life. All I gave them was just a little bit of my time. And honestly, I wish I had more, more time with them. But the time I've had has been great. I love you, Mum. I love you forever. The things that I remember most about Nanny, apart from, of course, the wonderful cooking that I enjoyed as a child or 